Hey guys, Level Cap here, and today we're going to be talking about the Medal of Honor damage model. As with any first person shooter, it's kind of key to understand how much damage your weapon's doing per second, how much it's doing per shot, how much health your opponents have, uh, what kind of damage modifiers you have for hitting different parts of the body. All that stuff is very critical information to um, basically crafting your gameplay, your game style, choosing your guns, all that kind of stuff, uh, and knowing how you're going to perform in combat. Um, and a lot of starting out in this game was me shooting at opponents, stopping to turn to a new opponent, and realize that the first guy I was shooting at didn't die because I just hadn't caused enough damage to kill him. It felt like it I should have because I was basing it on previous games, but Medal of Honor has a significantly different damage model than most other shooters out there. Now, for the most part, Assault rifles for the heavy assault the point man the demo man those and um, also the machine guns do about 20 damage per shot if you have a hundred health that means it's about a five shot kill now you'd say well it could be faster if you get a few headshots in there um, if you're comparing this game to something like Battlefield uh, which has a 2.0 damage modifier if you shoot them in the head so a 25 damage shot becomes a 50 damage shot well Medal of Honor only has a 1.3 headshot multiplier for anybody who's not a sniper snipers have a 2.0 damage modifier uh, this is a really interesting choice one that I'm not sure I really agree with uh, because it really does reward you less for going for the head so you almost uh, want to aim for the body in Medal of Honor just so that you land more shots because the head damage multiplier isn't going to be a big enough reward to constantly aim for the head because the amount of shots that you miss uh, flying around the head um, are going to end up killing your opponent slower than just aiming for center mass in which case maybe even a few of those shots might veer up and hit the head anyway. Now if you're playing the sniper class then you do want to aim for the head. Um, most sniper rifles, actually there's only four sniper rifles, so three of the four sniper rifles are not one shot kill sniper rifles unless you hit them in the head. Uh, the La Rue OBR is still not a one-shot kill if you hit him in the head, but the TAC-300 and the CS-5 are both one-shot kills for headshots. Um, they don't have damage falloffs either. The TAC-300 does 90 damage per shot, the CS-5 does 50 damage per shot. Now the TAC-50 is a one-shot kill even if you don't hit them in the head. It does 110 damage. Now if you shoot somebody in the legs with the sniper class, you only do half weapon damage. So the TAC-50 is only going to do 60 damage if you hit somebody in the legs. Um, other, All other classes do 80% weapon damage for a leg shot. So only snipers are actually penalized by 50% damage for leg shots but they do get that 2% damage multiplier for the head, where other classes only get a 1.3 damage multiplier. Overall, damage falloffs in this game are much sooner than other games, and uh, especially for classes like the Spec Ops. Now, the Spec Ops you can run with something like the AK-103 Bullpup. Uh, that gun only does 18 damage maximum, so not only is it more than a 5-shot kill, it's at least a 6-shot kill to kill somebody with that gun which only has 30 rounds in a magazine, by the way, uh, but it drops off to 15 damage um, at 20 meters. The drop-off starts at around, it looks like around 15 meters or so, and uh, ends up at 20. So it's basically um, becomes very, very ineffective at longer ranges, along with um, a lot of the other weapons out there. Now, the Assaulter class has probably some of the more effective assault rifles in the game. You have the HK416 and the M4V1. Both those guns do 20 damage per shot and they have a drop off down to 14 damage. However, the drop off doesn't start till about 45 meters. So you're still doing significant damage at range with these assault rifles. So they're actually incredibly good. You also have the G3 and the EBR which do a 25 damage maximum. Um, but their drop-off starts at 30 meters, and they drop off down to 20 damage. Um, and those guns also only have 20 bullets in a magazine. But the Assaulter class, I think, has potentially some of the best guns in the game, if you don't count the TAC-50 sniper rifle. Just that one-shot kill with the TAC-50 makes it an incredibly good weapon. Now let's talk about pistols, the sidearms in this game. Um, and from the beginning, I noticed that pistols were dealing a significant amount of damage compared to the primary weapons. I was actually really surprised when switching to pistols sometimes and uh, finding that I was killing people in one or two shots quite easily when 
uh, I would unload like what seemed like about half a mag into somebody and they would still be standing for my primary weapon. Uh, the M1911, which you get with the demolition class, does 50 damage maximum and 20 damage minimum. The drop off starts extremely soon though. Uh, it starts at around, looks like seven meters or so and ends at about 12 meters. So up close and personal, the M1911 is a two shot kill and a one shot headshot kill. So it's an incredibly effective pistol. Now the heavy gunners that run with machine guns get the HK-45C pistol, which is probably the second best pistol in the game. It does 40 damage maximum and 20 damage minimum with the same sort of fall off as the M1911. So it's a three shot kill in close quarters or a two shot kill if somebody's been damaged just slightly. Uh, it's a very, very effective pistol. Now I could get into all the weapon specifics here, but uh, I'll save that for more future videos. Um, what I mainly want you guys to take away from this game is that um, they have intentionally made most assault rifles very ineffective at longer ranges. The assaulter class probably has one of the best uh, assault rifle options for long range while well, all their assault rifles are good for long range. The point man and the spec ops and all those classes have weaker assault rifles that just don't do quite as much damage at range so they're meant to get up close and personal. This is intentional. Snipers are very good at long range. Because weapon reload times are on average a bit longer than games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, um, I believe the intention is that they want you to switch to your sidearm weapons more frequently in combat. You can switch them very fast and the damage that they deal is very, very high. So it actually makes a lot of sense to switch to sidearms, which in many cases feel more powerful than your uh, primary weapons. The heavy gunner class is interesting in that all the machine guns do 20 damage maximum and 20 damage minimum, so they don't have any range drop off. So if you get a bipod up with your machine gun, you can actually be very lethal at range. In fact, just as lethal at range as you would be in close quarters. So there's still a five shot kill to the body, but uh, you know, they just have that interesting range dynamic that most other classes don't. It's also interesting to note that all projectiles have a 350 meter per second projectile speed. So that means that you're not going to have to adjust to different guns uh, lead time. If you're shooting at somebody far away with a machine gun, uh, you want to lead just as much as you would with a pistol or with a sniper rifle. So that's it for the basics on the damage model of Medal of Honor. I do plan on getting a little bit more specific which e with uh, each class and talking about their guns and weapons and damage models and all that stuff. Uh, but for the most part, you should just take away that most classes are meant for close quarters. Snipers are great at long range. Heavy gunners can uh, handle both long range and close quarters. Um, and go check out simthick.com. That's where all these stats are. They're just getting into it. Everything's sort of uh, early preliminary stuff because they're trying to analyze the data. But anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, rate it if you did. I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off. <laughs>